You know what I feel? What? I feel this is really good lighting. Yeah. So we're going to do an episode of stories my grandmother told me. Oh. Right now. <laughs> You're dressed well. You look good. We just had dinner. What do you say, Bubby? <laughs> I, I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> we're going to talk about... Uh, tell me some stories about Jaime. Uh, you were talking at dinner about the horse, Ruza. Tell me, tell us, tell everybody watching about some stories about Jaime. Jaime's parents... It's my grandfather. They were little short people. Like dwarves. Yeah. And uh, they lived... I can't remember the, the, uh, the downtown. The Bullion Street. Yeah, I was. I couldn't remember the uh, the. Some, the sometimes I try to think of something. It's, just, it's okay. I got you, Bobby. Okay. They, they lived they had, uh, at the Bullion Street beside a, a, a stable. They were they were from Romania. I don't know. Chafac, Chafac. And and they never learned to speak English. Which is a strange because my, my late mother also and, 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 and spoke a very broken English. Wait, hold she, on. She never really my hand is getting it. tired. Okay. My arms are getting tired. Right. So, you were saying that my grandfather's parents came from Romania. They were very small. They were dwarf-like. It, it, it wasn't my, grand, my grandmother. Jaime's parents. Jaime's parents were very short people. They, ca they came from Romania. Romania, Chafac. And uh, they never really learned to speak English properly. So they, but they, they managed to make a fantastic living. What did they do? They used to buy the huge rolls of uh, paper and they, uh, in their kitchen, they they would cut cut up the this paper and and make the little whole, uh, potato fried potato holders. At that time, so they, kind of like you know McDonald's French fries. When you buy the french fries at McDonald's, those very horrible french fries that taste delicious, they made the french fry holders. The french fry holders, that's that exactly, you, 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 you... Put the nail on the head. Put the nail on the head. That's right. And my father-in-law, that was Jaime's dad, had a, had a, a wagon and a horse. And he, he was a little short guy, but he managed to climb up on the seat of the wagon. A horse stands very high, and he was a little, a very short little man. And he would climb, and he would scramble up on that. Up, uh, I don't know how he got up. And he would take off delivering the orders and the horse he would the horse that was pulling the wagon was named Ruza. <laughs> yes Ruza. and then i remember Jaime would say to me Ruza, 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 and he would play with the horse yeah <laughs> the horse he named Ruza. i have a surprise to show everybody keep telling the story about the horse to the to the camera <laughs> tell everybody the story about the horse all right people are listening the, the, the horse was a big, tall horse with a uh, with a big a big wagon, and this little short man would somehow scramble up. I don't know how he was able to climb up uh, onto the seat where he could sit and hold the reins and take off in in this wagon. <laughs> Speaking of little horses, meet Nacho, my, the little horse. <laughs> What's he chewing? A little uh, biscuit that I'm feeding oh. to, to lure him up to the camera. <laughs> you watch him run away in a second. All he wants is food. 
<laughs> He's not a horse, but he definitely eats like one. <laughs> Who's a good boy? Who's an ugly boy? <laughs> oh, yes, you're so ugly. You're the ugliest man in the whole wide world. Oh my god. No, you don't. Stories my grandmother told me starring Nacho. You better not. Ah! Ah! <laughs> See, he just came here for the food and he left. <laughs> okay, well, let's let's thank everyone for watching the show. Thank you for watching. Yeah, well, thank the, the audience. <laughs> thank you for listening to my stories. Yeah, this was an unexpected episode of stories my grandmother told me. We changed the scenery, we changed the location. We're at my house, it's Friday night. We had a family dinner. Some people have a Shabbat dinner. We had a nice family Friday dinner. It's nice to have once in a while. It recharges you. It uh, keeps you fresh. It's uh, good to see my bubbles again, unexpectedly on a Friday night. So, thank you, Baba. <laughs> thank you for telling me those stories. And I'm excited for our next episode. Maybe we'll talk about your life as a bookkeeper. But maybe we won't. Who knows? Who cares? I just like hearing your stories. 